Here on the floor behind us, we've got a new new sail for the Louis Vuitton finals. In the untrained eye, I guess it does look like a just a bit of rubbish, really, but it's quite scientifically done. Went on a road trip the other day over to uh, Minden, Nevada, where uh, North Sales have their 3DI factory. So we're coming up to this truck here, and you notice underneath it's got the underbody fairing, similar to like what we have on the uh, NZL5. Just improving the aerodynamics package on board this truck. That's five gallons there. That should keep us going for a bit. At least to our South Lake Tahoe. And the trip ended up taking us about four and a half hours. And that was just to Tahoe, where we stayed the night in a cheap motel. Evening, mate. Good, how are you? Good. Perfect. Some power lines more power lines. Yep. A lot of thinking went on here. Definitely worth the trip to have a look at where these sails are made. Our sail designer Burns has a shape for the sail, it's a flying shape that he has in mind. And then he'll, on his computer program, he'll lay up all these carbon passes in the direction of the, the loads from each corner and uh, send his design off to these guys at the factory. And then they've got these special laminating machines which lay down fibres to uh, Burns' specifications. Once uh, sort of the general pattern and uh, strength and, and uh, tapes of the sail are laid up into sections, the sections are then put on a, uh, a 3D mould, uh, which the mould uh, effectively gives the sail the flying shape that we, uh, we desire. Yeah. It's definitely worth checking out the facility they have there. After working on these sort of sails for years, you really appreciate seeing where they're built and how they're constructed. So one good thing out of that is that we've got a few extra fans out there in Nevada. Um, pretty much the whole loft is uh, yeah. what they call rooting for Team New Zealand for us. We've got the sail in the back of the car. They don't need, they don't just, fit they it, just fit it in the little car. And, uh, and we'll be uh, we'll start work on that tomorrow. We've and obviously got to build it for this sailing and uh, by the schedule here we've got to have it finished by Thursday that leaves us two days to cut around it, sew the corners on, the luff tape, leech tape, fit the battens and all the sign writing. So we've got our work cut out for us.